In the last part of this video or video sequence, you will see my US trains operating automatically. I just start one train manually and all the rest uh, is done automatically, which means that the trains uh, during their train routes start other trains um, or when a train route is finished starts uh, the next uh, train route of the same train or even another train. Um, I will I will hit on on this button here. Um, uh, I moved uh, the right uh, uh, screen here over the left screen. I will uh, hit this button. Um, let me just uh, switch on the editing mode uh, and um, a, a double click uh, will open um, the menu uh, which is behind what what kind of operations are behind this button and the operation is start the Mikado train part one. Okay, the train, the Mikado train part one. I'll switch off the editing mode. I will move this back to the right screen. I have, when I select here, I, th these are all my train routes and I can select here the Mikado uh, train route part one, which I did already. It's a little bit small, so you won't even able to, to really see this, but this is Mikado uh, part one. So it starts here in the train depot, comes up um, and ends here. Um, and uh, what comes next, uh, for example, uh, uh, I know that uh, Mikado, the Mikado train will just go on here because it is programmed that it starts automatically the part two at the end of part one. And I just give you, uh, okay, I have to uh, go into the editing modus. Okay, and you see we are now in the menu, in the menu of uh, the Mikado um, part one and, and there is um, here a tab which says uh, now what happens after this and when this uh, train uh, route comes to an end um, then um, the Mikado part two is started that is the command in here uh, so automatically the train route part two will be started you can program that the train should stop here for a while before it continues if you would not enter any uh, time uh, then it would just go on and um, go to the uh, part two and execute the part two which is go from here to here um, so all these uh, train routes of uh, which i have programmed uh, start um, other train routes at whatever uh, points or tracks or blocks. So um, uh, this this train, for example, can start another train when it enters main train station. So uh, you can then um, say, okay, uh, enter a command and start another train route. Also, the software train controller provides me with a lot of documentation. Um, I found it much easier to design uh, my little uh, own Excel spreadsheet, which I just open now. And here uh, uh, I can see uh, at which points which train starts the other. So the Mikado part one um, will um, it, it is started manually is what what's what is put here it manually start part one and the part one starts when it enters the block 41 to 42 it will start another train it will start the big boy so 41 to 42 uh, when it goes through this block it will start another train okay so uh, let's just take a look well, we have 41 and 42. Um, I think um, this is somewhere up here. Let me just take a look. I open this. No, it isn't. Oh, I'm I'm in I'm 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 on train route uh, 
uh, two, I have to select train route one, you see, okay, train route one, and I think this is 41 to 42, okay, um, 41 to 42, it's, I just named it because the turnout uh, in front of this block is 41, and after the block is uh, to turnout number 42, and that's how I named the block, and you see, uh, when it comes into the block, so when the train, uh, when the Mikado train on its first train route comes from down here, up here out of the train depot, goes through here and enters this block. This enters this block, there is a list, and in this list you'll see again an operation start the big boy train part one so you see um, you can start um, uh, the train routes um, at any point uh, during a train route you just do not have to wait until the train route comes to an end okay so uh, I will uh, start now uh, this um, whole automatic sequence and um, the video uh, will uh, show you a couple of moments um, of the automatic uh, train operations. I if I would uh, take the video of the whole sequence, you would uh, see uh, around about 35 to 45 minutes video. Um, I'll keep it a little bit shorter um, and take a couple of video shots during this automatic uh, train operation. As all my uh, locomotives have a sound decoder, um, it can be pretty loud, um, so uh, I might as well uh, not uh, add too many uh, comments with my voice. Here comes the short freight train with the GP30 locomotive. Now switching back into a track of the freight train parking area and depot area. This is now the big boy approaching the mountain track, coming to a stop on the mountain track. So let's take a look at the Mikado locomotive. Uh, it is just going uphill on the mountain track. Passing by the big boy freight train. and coming to a smooth stop on the mountain track. Here you can see the other big boy with the small freight train waiting in front of a red signal. So obviously some track blocks are occupied by another train and the big boy just has to wait. Okay, we hear a sound back at the Rio Grande. And obviously this Rio Grande train comes now. And that's why the big boy has to wait. Here comes the Rio Grande, goes up the mountain track. And now you see that the big boy with its small freight train can continue on its route.
Oh, here are two in parallel. You see the Santa Fe double traction and the big boy. Okay, here is the Santa Fe double traction approaching the main train station, coming to a smooth stop. The big boy with the long freight train comes now and down the mountain track. And let's see where it's going to. Okay, it's obviously has taken a U-turn. You see the Mikado locomotive as well with the short freight train. And here comes the big boy. Taking a short stop in the main train station, but not waiting for passengers or unloading freight. It just has to wait because another train is occupying tracks. Here we see the Santa Fe Silver Coach train approaching the mountain, coming to a stop in front of a red signal. At the same time, we see the big boy was a small freight train. Let's take a look at the Rio Grande from another perspective. Climbing up the mountain track, crossing the Santa Fe, and coming to a stop here as well. Here comes on the left track the Amtrak Silver Coach train. And it apparently has to wait until it can move on because another track is occupied. Let's see what the Amtrak train is waiting for. Yeah, it is most likely the Santa Fe train having occupied the block. Now climb, climbing against uphill.
And here it continues on its journey. Approaching the main train station. Coming to a halt exactly so that all the coaches fit to the platform. That has been the Mikado passing by. We see now in the other station on my model railroad that two passenger trains have come to a halt so passengers can change trains and go on their individual other routes. Now the Amtrak train moves on. Going up the hill. And coming to a stop on top of the mountains as well. While the Big Boy 4013 with a short freight train goes back into parking track. The Amtrak had to wait for a short while, continuing now its train route. As one of the last trains now taking its route to a parking track is the very short Santa Fe freight train with the EMD GP30 locomotive ahead. Starts ringing its bell when approaching the final track. This now completes the presentation of my model railroad with US trains and I hope you had much fun and thanks for taking the time to watch this video and the whole video sequence or just part of it. Thank you and bye. See you next time.